Hi all. Today's webcast is in continuation to my previous webcast for data flow from order management to service contract. Today I will create a order and push it all the way to quickly ship confirm and service contract. So let's create a sales order. Add the order line. As I explained, system will create the service contract only if we have a service line in the order. If order doesn't have a service line, system will not create the service contract. So we can add a service line in the order or there is a possibility that the product has already some service items associated with it in the bill of material. Let's take the bill of material for AS54888. In the bill of material for AS54888, I can see a couple of warranties items associated with it. These are nothing but my service lines. So in AS54888, I have a three service lines associated with it. So irrespective whether I add a, another line or not, at the end of the sales order, system will at the end of at the end of the process, system will create a service contract. So for my test case, apart from the services which are already associated with the AS54888, I will add another service item. So the service item I am adding is computer service one. So as I have explained you, when we add a service line in the sales order, the service line should, uh, should associate with the product line. The product could be on the same order or it could be on the different order or the product could be product has already been installed at the customer site. In my example, both the product line and service line are on the same order. To further progress, I have I, I need to provide the, uh, the reference type, order type, order number, line number. So what is the reference type? Reference type, if the reference type is customer product, that means the product is already installed at the customer site. If the reference type is order, that means this service line is referring to the order number. So that order could be the same order or different order. In my case, it is the same order. So I provide all the details. Once I provide all the details, system will ask me to provide the service duration. In we need not to provide the service start date and end date. This will be populated by the system itself based on the end date of the service lines which are part of the bill of material for the product line. So then once the order is completed, book it and perform the pick release and ship and confirm. Once the ship confirm is done, the lines, uh, once the ship confirm is done, we need to run the workflow background process. Once we run the workflow background process, workflow for the product line as well as the service line progress to the fulfill line activity of the workflow and it is in the fulfill line activity of the workflow we have a code which will basically read the data from the order management and dump the data into the service contract interface table please note that this requirement of reading the data from the order management and dumping into the service contract interface table is whole good only for the extended warranty items now once we and not for the items which are part of the product, not for the service line which are the part of the product. Now, we have not yet executed any program which will process the data from the service contract interface table. Now, if we go to the service contract and query for the order number 66666, we can see a service contract has been already created for this order and the contract number is 22049. If I closely look into this service contract, what I can say is it has a three, uh, three lines and these three lines are nothing but the uh, warranties which are associated with the bill of material for AS54888. As you can see, this contract has been created before we run the concurrent program which will process the data from the service contract interface table. Now let's go back to our flow. Now I have a, once the workflow background process is done, I just log into a service contract responsibility, run the service contract process, 
processing program and it will basically create another service contract. Let us look into that. The previous contract number is 22049 and it is in the status of active. The new service contract which is created for my extended warranty is in the status signed and the start date is 26, sorry, 26 April 2015. Any service contract where the start date is the current date has a, will be have a status of active and any contract which has a start date of a future will have a status signed. Now what I did is, I, I okay let us open the service contract and look into the details. Now I am going back to my order again, I am creating a line 2.1 and with a quantity 5 and then I added a service contract, service extended warranty sorry, I add, added a service line which is nothing but my extended warranty. As of now the line is 4.1 but the moment I enter the reference for line 2.1, the line number will change from 2.1 to line number change from 4.1 to 2.1 dot 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 one. Now if you look into the, there is a difference, my product has a quantity 5 but my service has a quantity 1. If I try to enter the, I, I, if I uh, enter the order number, system will immediately throw an error which says quantity on the service line should be same as the quantity on the product line and it will automatically change the quantity 1 to quantity 5. Since the order is already booked, system will ask me to enter the service duration. Once the service duration done, the order is already booked, I will perform the pick release, ship confirm, run the workflow background process. Once the background process is done, system will uh, read the data for the line 4.1 and 2. Point, sorry, read the data for the 2.1 and 2.1 dot dot one and dump into the service contract interface table, which is nothing but OKS reprocessing table. For all the, the information related to the detail, please refer my previous webcast. So at the end of the processing, we can see, we do not see another contract, but we can see the value of the contract 22050 is changed. Now it has a value, earlier it has a value of $480, now it is $2,880. Now if I open 22050, I can see system has added another line in the service contract that is for the quantity 5 and for the line 2.1.1. That is all for now. In case you need any additional information, feel free to leave a comment on my blog and I will try to answer that. Thank you. Bye.